time to accomplish this goal. It's something I've been working towards literally for years. It's actually life-changing and I'm really looking forward to doing this on camera and sharing this experience with you. What's going on guys? This is Jordan Miller. I'm the owner and founder of Breathe Heavy. And you clicked on the video, you saw the title. I'm going to talk about my deep dark secret, which is being thousands of dollars in debt. However, I do have a goal that I'm going to accomplish with you on camera at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around. But before we dive into the video, let's play that intro. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's essentially digital currency in 2021. So you smashing the like button and you subscribing to this channel will greatly help me out a lot. One of the goals of this YouTube channel is to A, let people in on who I am as an entrepreneur, running Breathe Heavy, being a businessman, doing marketing, my love of fitness, Britney, Gaga, pop music, you name it. It's a pretty big niche here on YouTube, but those are all the things that make me me, and I'm really excited to share my story with you. Another goal of my YouTube channel is to inspire people, and we're gonna get a little into the weeds today in terms of my personal finance, which is terrifying to me, but at the same time, I think that people grow when they put themselves intentionally in uncomfortable situations, and so, this is an example of that and I hope that it inspires you. Now I'd like to preface this video by saying that from my perception growing up, I think that talking about your personal finances so publicly is very taboo and that's something that I'd like to contribute towards changing. And I want you guys right there beside me as I accomplish these goals. Two of which I'm so excited to reveal at the end of this video. It's just gonna be so awesome. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that you would never know based off of visiting Breathe Heavy or my social media handles that I am in debt. And I think that that goes to show that people put their best foot forward on social media and online and that it's very much an illusion when you look at people's lives. And that's also kind of a barrier that I'd like to break, at least between us. So I'm not gonna reveal my whole entire life, but I do think that it's important that I practice being vulnerable. It's difficult emotion to harness, but I do think that there's a lot of benefits to that. So in a nutshell, I got into debt by not having control over my own life. One of those examples is student loan debt. I took out student loan debt to go to college here in Las Vegas. I went to UNLV, which I ended up graduating with a degree in journalism and media studies. However, I do think that times are so different now that I think if I had my own children, I wouldn't necessarily advise them to go to college because there's so much information out there on the internet, on YouTube, that you really can teach yourself how to have your own career. Now that's not saying that college is bad, I just think student loan debt is particularly out of control and if you can avoid it, I would advise to do so. I also have thousands of dollars of debt because of my taxes. In 2013, I left my job in marketing to become an entrepreneur full time and focus on Breathe Heavy 24 seven. In the time since, I have not looked back. I've hit the ground running. And running. And running. To the point of actually exhaustion and burnout. So a year ago, I decided to shift my website from being a kind of formal news website to being a community instead. That to me was the single greatest change of Breathe Heavy's history because now it's allowing the community to be able to connect with one another versus me feeling like I constantly have to write news articles. However, in the process of all those years writing news articles, I quickly fell behind being able to pay what I owed in taxes and the compound effect of that put me thousands of dollars in debt with my taxes as well. It's not something that I'm super proud to admit, but that is the reality of my situation, and I think it's important for you to know the facts before we proceed. And the final chunk of debt that I have is credit card debt. Now let me explain briefly, because we could be here all day. But essentially, Breathe Heavy generates revenue through advertising. It's a business model that is very interesting to me. It's very hit or miss. At the end of the year, advertisers pay a lot more money because it's the holidays, people are willing to spend more money. So you end up as a publisher being able to generate more revenue in November and December. However, come January and February, because advertisers have spent their budget for the year, they aren't as inclined to want to spend as much money in the, the beginning months of a year. So publishers like me also end up making a lot less in January and February, so it kind of balances out throughout the year. There are still a lot of hurdles. People have Adblock, which is essentially a tool that stops ads from loading on certain websites, which really hurts publishers like me. 
And it's been really difficult to be sustainable with that. And also because of social media, social media has created instant gratification and allows people to share news like that. So as a result, writing news articles became less important because people were already finding out about it on social media. So one of the biggest changes to Breathe Heavy becoming a community is that I gave my business an opportunity to thrive because people are able to connect with one another, which is something that social media tends to have a difficult time doing. Think of it this way. It's hard for people on social media to be really engaged with one another because a lot of the times you are just either liking something or dropping a comment and then going about your day. But a community, you continually check back, you get to know people, you private message them, you post topics. So Breathe Heavy has really changed tremendously in the last year because of that. Side note, I'm using a company called Envision Power Services to power Breathe Heavy, and I have some news about them, but that's going to be coming out in a separate video in the very near future. So with the advertising, one really profound thing that happened to me, twice actually, is that I worked with an advertising manager on two separate occasions, and their job was to essentially manage Breathe Heavy's ads, and I should have learned my lesson to take control over my advertising revenue and how the ads appear on Breathe Heavy. However, I didn't learn my lesson and on two separate occasions was burned. Basically two times I had thousands of dollars stolen from me and to me, because I was in this rat race of just trying to keep Breathe Heavy afloat, I didn't have the energy or the time or the, even the resources to financially go after these people. So I lost thousands of dollars and because I was already living check to check, I had to use credit cards to basically survive. Those lessons were extremely impactful on me and those times were very difficult. It really forced me to face myself and ask myself, am I a failure? Am I successful? And what does that mean? I think there's two ways to look at success in terms of my debt. And one is that I do feel successful in terms of creating what Breathe Heavy is and the magnitude of it. Having hundreds of thousands of people visit Breathe Heavy every single month is huge to me and Breathe Heavy also has a huge presence on social media and reaches literally millions of people in a 30 day period. There's been countless exclusives, amazing news stories, really just awesome things have happened because of Breathe Heavy. However, there is a financial aspect to Breathe Heavy and from where I stand, based off of what I was doing, I don't feel successful in that area. Along with switching my website to a community, I think creating YouTube content has been the best decision, not only because I think it's a huge challenge for me, it's very fulfilling, but also there's real potential to be able to have these videos generate revenue and revenue helps make the world go round. Revenue is what keeps businesses going and growing and being able to create more content. So that's kind of why I encourage you to please subscribe to this video and smash the like button because that is like a digital currency. Which leads me to my first announcement of two is that my YouTube channel is officially monetized, which I'm so grateful for and I'm looking forward to creating more content that's not only compelling, but also helps this channel grow. And by the way, if you're just completely out of the loop in terms of YouTube monetization, it's actually pretty difficult to accomplish. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time Time within a 365 day period. So this YouTube channel is 10 years old. However, I was only very recently able to generate 4,000 hours of watch time because of all the consistent uploading I've done. And what watch time means is that I needed an accumulation of people watching my videos for up to 4,000 hours. I was just monetized, which is so exciting to me. And I actually haven't seen any of the reports, but I am looking forward to sharing the financial side of YouTube with you guys in the future. I would like to point out that I'm very aware that there's an interesting dynamic between making money and Breathe Heavy. Breathe Heavy's not just really like any business <laughs> because a big component, especially right now to Breathe Heavy, is the Free Britney movement. One of my insecurities about talking about personal finance and eventually showing people that I'm thriving financially is that I'm going to be accused of using Britney and using the free Britney movement for personal gain. It's something that people already accuse me of. It's something that makes me uncomfortable because I don't wanna perceive myself that way. However, I can understand where people are coming from when they do point that out. And to some degree, I will agree with them. Just know that I've been speaking out about free Britney and Britney's conservatorship for the last 13 years. First and foremost, because I wanna advocate for her personal autonomy. 
it's not something that I'm like, I want to make money off of it. I, I truly don't think that way. And it's really up to you to believe that I'm being genuine. I also don't think that making money is inherently wrong. I just think how you go about doing it is where it could become problematic. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that, by the way. So please drop me a line in the comments. Let me know what you think about my personal finance journey. And if you believe that I'm making money off of Britney Spears and, and writing her coattails, I'm curious to know what you think. I don't personally see it that way but I am open to feedback and would love to hear from you guys. There's three lessons that I wanna to touch on before accomplishing my big, big goal that I'm so excited to do. And the first lesson is to take control. For many years, I just pretended like I wasn't in debt. I would pay the minimum amount just because I was just trying to get by. I just had such a bad mindset about it that I really had to face myself and look in the mirror and decide how I wanted to proceed with my life and whether I wanted to also be financially successful or not. One way that I took control is by me personally being the one who manages what the ads are on Breathe Heavy and how they're shown. Goal number two is that it's never too late to start tackling debt. I think that some people feel like they're just so far and deep, they could have $100,000 of student loan debt or whatever the case may be and they just cannot see a light at the end of the tunnel. One of the most important things that you can do is what's called the snowball effect in terms of finance and that's just tackling little debts bit by bit until they become bigger goals and even bigger goals and eventually ideally you're out of debt that's a little hint towards the goal that I've been building up this entire video but that's just how YouTube works it's important to me to get you guys to stick to the end of the video and watch as much of this as I can get you to watch was I supposed to say that out loud uh. <laughs> and lesson number three and probably the most important lesson that I've learned is your self-worth cannot be taken away from you whether you're in debt or not. This comes from a personal experience and I think subconsciously for many years I have avoided getting into a romantic relationship because I have felt unworthy. I felt like I can't contribute to a relationship. I'm not gonna be able to be the kind of boyfriend that I want to be because I'm just so focused on my business and getting out of debt. I think that I have really enjoyed these last years really hustling and working and all that and, and continuing to do so. But I feel like I've closed myself off from any opportunity of dating someone because of my debt. I think in retrospect, I would have loved to have had the emotion that I can also date someone at the same time of getting out of debt. However, that's not where my head was at up until recently. This isn't like me trying to find a boyfriend right now, although I'm open to it. This video is not about that. Um, but hey, if I can get out of debt and find a man at the same time, I'm definitely not gonna turn that down. <laughs> All right, enough of my yapping. It's time to accomplish this goal. It's something I've been working towards literally for years. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but to me, it's actually life-changing and I'm really looking forward to doing this on camera and sharing this experience with you. Okay, so I'm finally going to pay off the last chunk of my credit card bill. I had maxed it out to $5,000 because of just how I was trying to stay afloat and everything that's gone on in the last number of years. And I've been working really hard to tackling this debt and I only have $500 left of this credit card bill that I'm going to pay in one foul swoop right now on camera. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be credit card debt free. I'm looking forward to then tackling my other debts, but one thing at a time and this is just a really big moment for me. I hope that it inspires you to take more control over your personal finances and we're in this together. So to be specific, I owe $513.20. It says, this amount is significantly more than your typical payment. That's right, honey. Bank of America, you are not making any more interest off of me. Here goes. It's done. I'm credit card debt free. I really built that up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's just, that's just, I don't know why in my head I pictured like confetti and balloons, um, <laughs> but I'm so glad that that's done. And you, what made it even more special is that I got to share it with you. I know that that's very cheesy or whatever, but it means a lot to me to be able to do this visibly and it's just my hope that some of these words that I've mentioned today and some of my personal story resonates with you. And if you're feeling like you're in a similar situation and you just don't know where to turn or 
cannot see a light at the end of the tunnel, just know that I was also there. And I decided to change that story in my mind. And this is an example of how I felt like I'll never get out of debt and I am turning things around. So cool. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. This is probably one of my most favorite videos I've recorded to date and I've made some really special videos. So that's hopefully saying a lot. I'm not sure it'll have the same traction as maybe some of my other stories like the Gaga or Britney ones, but I hope that it does. Getting monetized on YouTube and getting out of credit card debt were two huge goals of mine and it just feels so good to accomplish them. And I'm just greatly appreciative that you're watching this video and supporting my channel. It really does mean everything to me. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and being a part of this with me. It's greatly appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Outro.